Welcome to HP Tuner's Ford Gen 2 Coyote Training Part 1. In this training module, we're going to be taking a look at how to install our VCM software suite to begin our training course. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at downloading and installing our VCM software suite onto our laptops. This is the first part of the process of getting started with HP Tuners. You have to have the software in order to do any calibrating, any data logging. So let's jump in here and download this and get this installed. It's pretty straightforward. Now I'm on hptuners.com website, so you want to make sure you're in your browser you're typing in hptuners.com. I'm on the front page of the website. We're going to navigate here on the top bar of the screen. We're going to go here into the download section. If I click this link, this brings me into where I can do downloads for various things from HP Tuners. Now, we're interested in downloading the VCM software suite. We have two options here in this window. We have a download VCM suite latest stable version, and then we have download VCM suite beta version. Now, the difference between these two is that the beta version is going to have features or functions that have been added into the software that may not have been fully tested. I can say that I haven't ever had an issue with the beta version of the software, and I've had many times working with HP Tuners where they suggested that I actually download the beta version of the software to get around a particular issue or a fix that they've just put out. So we'll find if you're looking and comparing downloading the normal software suite version to the beta software suite version, you'll find the beta is going to be several revisions ahead of the normal VCM software suite, which they've proven, they tested, they know it works, they know everything's stable, the beta is going to be the latest and greatest from HP Tuners. Now, it's to note that almost daily, the software will be updated because HP Tuners is used across many different vehicles and platforms. So as a result, all of the different engineering departments in HP Tuners, if they're working with, let's say, a GM or a Ford or a Dodge or even PowerSport, uh, such as Polaris, they may be pushing a change in the software which gets lumped into something that's going to be put into a software update here. So the beta version, for example, if you're tuning a Polaris, you might need a software update. Well, that's going to be released daily or released even sometimes hourly changes between all the departments. So the software is constantly getting updated. So every time you go in here, um, you can go in here once a week and download the software to make sure you're on the latest version, you'll find that it is constantly changing. Not a big deal. I like to work within the beta version of the software, and I will note that some of the things I'm supplying in the training course, namely the template applicator calibration files that allow you to create base maps very quickly, which we'll cover in a separate training module, those are all based around the beta version of the software. If you have the stable version of the software, the latest stable version here, the template applicator files won't open correctly. It'll give you errors. So I'm going to download the beta version of the software. You're left to choose whatever option you'd like. I haven't personally found any issues with the beta version of the software, so I'm going to be downloading the beta version right here. I'm going to simply click on either the link right here at the bottom or the blue box. Let's click on this. It's going to give me a warning saying that it is beta software. We have to acknowledge that there could be bugs or problems with the software. Again, I haven't ran into that. So I'm going to click OK here, and it's going to initiate that download. We can see it's happening right now. So there's about 40 seconds left here for the download to complete. I'm going to allow this to finish, and then we'll continue on here doing the installation for the software once the download has finished. Okay, so we can see here that the software has to actually fully download it. We can click here, open file. If we do this, it's gonna to start to prepare the installation for our software. So we can see right now it's saying, welcome to the setup wizard for VCM suite beta, this strand of numbers. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't wanna miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.